So welcome to Techno Day at Life and on uh, today's video we're going to be doing the first in a series of a Will It Game videos. And so today we're going to be making a mind test server. And so mind test is like Minecraft only it's an open source version of it. And so remember if you like this video make sure you like and subscribe and here we go now. We're going to install the Linux server mind test, so click on that. And then once it's installed, we're going to click info. And then when we come to the info page, you can see the usage is very simple. So all we have to do is set up a config folder and PUID, and it's going to be available on port 30,000. So we'll go back to Open Media Vault and we'll click run. And we're going to call this mind test. Restart policy always, bridge mode, port 30,000. Our PUID, which is 1,000. And our PGID, which is 100. Next, uh, go to config. And if you haven't already, make a folder for this. So what you would do is go to your server. So this is my Think server. Go to App Data and then create a Mind Test folder. Once you've done that, click Close. We're going to go Shared Folders, App Data, and then Mind Test and OK. We're going to click the plus sign and click Save. Next, what we're going to do is go to the Mind Test website and download Mind Test. And all you have to do is download the newest version right here. Once you've downloaded that, extract that file to your desktop. And then we can close this. And then we're going to go to our desktop, go to Mind Test, go to Bin and Mind Test. And right here, you're going to put the address of your server. And you can see it already has port 30,000 set for us. And once we've done that, click Connect. And it will connect to our server. And now we are in the Mind Test server. And just like Minecraft, you can modify this world and do lots of different things. And so, uh, so how you get out of this screen is you press Escape. And you can see it will take us to a menu. We're going to go back to the mind test website and you can see here there's a customized column and you can add in mods, textures, game mods, form, texture packs, all sorts of different things. And that's it for today. And if you found this helpful, make sure you like and subscribe. Otherwise, have a great day and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.